Hello, my name's Ali Sherrick and I'm a time tunneler. I'm taking you to a very special place today. One I first explored on a family holiday to the far west of Cornwall when I was eight years old. Welcome to the ruins of Gysoyster, an ancient Romano British village set on a beautiful hillside about two miles from the historic port town of Penzance. Between the first and third centuries AD, it was home to a small community of about 50 to 70 people. The Romans never settled this part of the world, and the nearest Roman city, Isca Dunnorn Niorum, modern day Exeter, was over a hundred miles away. The lifestyle of the people who lived here had more in common with that of their Iron Age ancestors. So this is one of the largest of the houses at Chiselster. Um, it's a courtyard house, so what we're standing in at the moment is a big open courtyard which would have been open to the air and they think that they may have uh, had animals in here and they may have done things like leather working and grinding grain. But there are little rooms all the way around the side and this is where the people lived and also cooked um, and kept their fires. So if you'd like to follow me into one of them here. So this room would be in a very cosy room back in the day, if you can imagine the roof over the top of it, there may have been a fire in the middle as well, and people would have done their cooking in here, and it would be a very cosy place to live in. No one knows why Chysorster was eventually abandoned, but it was in the 3rd century AD, and the people moved down into the valley to villages. So we're left with the beautiful ruins in amongst the countryside. And finally, one of the most special places here at Chai Sorster, which is this amazing underground tunnel called a fogu, which is based on a Cornish word for cave. Now at the moment, it's very overgrown with nettles and there's a grill protecting it. And so you can't actually go inside, but we know that there's a tunnel in there and a chamber at the end. And archaeologists aren't really sure what these fogus were used for. They think they could have been used to store food or possibly valuables. But some people think that they were hiding places and that the people from the village may have come here during a time of trouble to hide in the chamber at the end of the tunnel. So your writing challenge for this week is to actually imagine yourself as one of the villagers living up there in one of the houses and something happens you decide what it is but it means that you and your family have to come and hide in this fogu in the darkness until the trouble goes away and i want you to use all your powers of description so the five senses to tell us what it's like to go into this secret place to hide and what you must be feeling like when whatever's happening um, is going on around you and then at the end, what happens next? Happy writing. <laughs>